Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Folks, I wanted to show a couple videos today, talk about the weather here. Uh, we know about the solar weather. This is a tornado out of Three Hills, Alberta, Canada. Now, I did a little background check on this, and Alberta typically gets about 15 tornadoes a season, so it's not unheard of to see these kinds of tornadoes, but the size of this one here is impressive. Uh, the strength, how slow it's moving. Just an impressive system here that far up north. It is that time of the year though for us, but uh, I wanted to show everybody this impressive twister that uh, we're seeing all kinds of extreme weather and it's it's everywhere you look. It's not just limited here to the states or overseas. Quickly, I wanted to point out also for next week's weather. Right now we're sitting in a cool wet pattern. Uh, here in the northeast, we see temperatures that are gonna be in the 60s and on Tuesday in the New England area, we're gonna see temperatures range anywhere from the low 60s as high as 54 degrees in Maine. So talk about, it's June out here. June 6, forecast temperatures aren't gonna break 60 degrees. Uh, you could have fooled me. And of course, down here in the south and southeast continue to get drenched with more uh, moisture from the Gulf. There was not a system that uh, developed in the Gulf over the weekend, but it sure has dumped a lot of rain on the south and southeast. And I wanted to move this up a little bit here. I wanted to show you there is a change in the pattern for next week. Late in the week, most of the areas that have not seen summer-like conditions, that is about to change for everybody. This is significant to me because yesterday I did a little piece and the jet stream was almost like a rainbow. Okay, now they've changed it. The jet stream is pushed way up north here late next week. So that warmth is not gonna be limited to just to the middle of the country in, in the southeast. They're calling for warmer temperatures in the northeast as well late next week. Still have to watch this part of the system right here though. Much cooler air is still spilling down from Canada. It'll be interested to see where we're at in a couple weeks as far as that goes. All right, quickly, I uh, also wanted to show our viewers Mike's weather page, SpaghettiModels.com. page has various uh, graphs, charts to keep track of everything as far as radar, temperature, wind speed, you name it. Uh, it has a hurricane prediction center. Very useful website, and we refer to this a lot. There's that moisture I was talking about right there in the Gulf of Mexico, just pouring in on the Florida big time. So... And one more thing before I let you go, just to show you guys the forecast for the next few days. Here we are, the southeast up to the northeast. It's going to be a soaker for the next three days. Today, Monday, and Tuesday. And they're still even calling for chances of rain on Wednesday in the same region. So uh, right as this system moves out, we've got another one here in the middle of the country that should arrive late next weekend. All right, folks, that's our update for today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk soon.